Good morning. <laughs> it's 11 Celsius. It's not that. It's it's okay. The sun is shining a little bit. We are heading back into uh, the center here. Going to meet up with a very good friend of mine and uh, have coffee. Maybe a sweet roll or something. Just already ate something I hadn't eaten yet. But um, yeah, we're going to meet him just for a, probably an hour or so. And then next week, we're going to hang out with him a little bit more. But his parents are in their 80s so he's actually helps take care of his parents with his other brother so but he wants to see us he's been calling me every day and of course obviously i want to see him as well so mm -hmm. so we're going to go here and find a place to have a coffee today is sunday a lot of things are closed on sunday uh some coffee shops will be open but uh for the most part some things are closed so not going to find a whole lot going on today we were going to go to the old cafe I used to go to. Uh, that's where Stefano wanted to meet me. And then I remember it's closed on Sunday. So instead of us taking that 20 minute walk, <laughs> I called them and said, hey, why don't we meet someplace else? Can try the coffee shop, sit on the sun. Yeah, we want to. <laughs> or inside, Please. okay, <laughs> okay. My brother, what's up? <laughs> I'm dreaming. <laughs> Come on. Good to see you. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Good to see you, Barbara. Good to see you, good to see you. Good to see you. Good I suppose to slap you, man, all the time. It's good. Ciao, Guy. Ciao. Oh, ciao. How are you? Good. Barbara. Ciao, good Barbara. You look great. You look great. Well, that was great uh, seeing Stefano again and mm -hmm. having gift meet him. And uh, I met his his uh, girlfriend, fiance, his fiance. And um, nice people. We are going to go have dinner with them. And uh, in a few days, we're going to have plan something for dinner. Right now, we are going to head to lunch. We're going to try to find something, get some some lunch, and yeah. I feel, I smell food. You smell food? Yes. <laughs> Today being Sunday, there's lots of um, families out here in in town, just walking around, enjoying enjoying the day. Between the hours of, um, I think it's 1:30 and 3:30, or 1 and 3:30. Usually they have their siesta. And everything in Portanone, just about everything closes down here, especially in the, um, the piazza and, or in town. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but some cafes are open and we need to get lunch now before the restaurants close. We haven't taken you guys down this way yet, so we'll walk in a different direction right now, show you around. And you can see the dolomites up there. See some snow in the dolomites? Not much, but there's some there, right? We need to see what we could get for lunch, huh? Is this the restaurant? I don't know. Coffee, coffee. Italians love their coffee. And I love their coffee too. You don't need Starbucks with coffee like this. So here they have salad, panini, and everything, so I, I don't know. Yeah, they're closed. There's a grocery store. See, you were looking for a grocery store? You got one right there. Because we haven't walked down this way yet. Okay, give. You good. <laughs> You never die. <laughs> <laughs> you think he, he have papaya? Me? I <laughs> doubt they have papaya. <laughs> I know, but it's a kidding, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I did not grow. I don't know, but I do know you're not going to find gold like in Thailand. Oh. That's 96% uh, pure. Oh. I don't think. I mean, maybe the uh, gold bars, but other than that, the jewelry. Is usually about 18 karat gold, 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold, but 
I'm not sure they have 23 karat gold like they do in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you can find it someplace, but it'll be a special specialty. It's not like Thailand. You have gold shops all over the place, right? Yeah. Some folks don't realize that uh, Thailand does have gold shops all over the place. In every town, they have a number of stores, right? Gold shops. Yeah. But usually the reason for that is, is they buy and sell gold like it's money, like money in a bank. They'll buy gold, hang on to it, and then they'll uh, sell it, buy it again, sell it, whatever. They hope the prices go up. Right now, the price of gold is really um, high. I think it's over, uh, what is it? Four. Um, Forty thousand for one baht, right? Yeah. Yeah, forty thousand baht for one baht of gold. You can Google what one baht of gold is if you want, but it's uh, it's pure gold, like ninety six percent pure, twenty three karat. So that's what they do. They'll hold on to it and they'll sell it when they need money, and they'll buy more and they'll sell it. Now the gold bars are they're ninety nine percent pure. Going to see if we could find a restaurant around here. Anyway, there was nothing down this way. No restaurants open, so we're going to go back the way I wanted to go initially mm-hmm. and see if there's any restaurants down that way. Definitely got to get something to eat for lunch. Maybe a restaurant in here? I love these little side alleys. There's lots of them here. We're going to have to take you guys and show you all of these alleys on another day. Right now we're just looking for something to eat. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is just coffee and stuff. That's a residence right there. I've seen a sign there. It said 50 meters. A lunch menu, but yeah, I'm thinking it's probably uh, different days. Oh well, it is what it is, right? Walk up through here, see if there's a. I don't know. Are there restaurants up here? I can walk. Check it out. What is this here? A menu. I see a menu. Okay. Are they open? Well, we found a place. You can smell the food. Now we're just looking for the staff, so it's open. Okay, so we waited in that restaurant. It smells good, whatever they have going on, but they must have one person cooking and doing everything. We waited 10 minutes and not even one person came up to uh, to see us. So there was two people sitting in the back. They didn't have anything. So we decided we're just gonna go to the grocery store, grab something uh, for lunch. And then this evening we'll come out and we'll uh, go have dinner someplace that's the plan anyway right gift you know the church huh very cool okay we are going to go pam city which is a grocery store here we're going to go in here and um Grab some food, do some shopping. Nice grocery store. I huh, guess. Yeah, oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> what you do is if you want bread, you see the number and then you put it on the scale. You want a baguette? Oh, that's nice and warm. Get that. You want that? Make a sandwich maybe, get some meat. Oh, we have oven. Well, this is good. You don't need an oven. Okay. It's fresh right now. Okay. We need to buy pink. Some meat, yeah, yeah. Here's some, this you could cook in water. This is like a ravioli or something. You can buy the pesto and you just mix it up. You wanna do that? This is all cooked food here. Here's a chicken. You wanna, 
if you want. You want to buy? Yeah, this one, oh, this one, this one, this one, like a not pack good. Okay, yes. None of them pack good, this. The this big one. one too, oh, the big one. Okay, which one you want to gift? Up to you, honey. You tell me, here's a real big one for 10 euro. Oh. Five. You could put it in there, what oh, you? This one, this one. Five euro, right? Yeah. Yeah, your favorite. Chicken. Chicken, we have. And it's Very all fresh. good. Okay. You could get some cheese and meat for the... Uh... Honey, this one, not... This one, right? Yeah, it looks like the rice. You just warm it up. Ah, oh, okay. Take a video. <laughs> look, look. I'll give found something she likes. There you go. Um, white rice, right? Yep. Okay, you could have like a teriyaki with rice. No, no, we have chicken. Like oh yeah, you can put the chicken with that. It's good. It's fresh. It's all fresh. I want to get some cheese. I'm, I'm dying to have some cheese. Maybe a provolone. There you go. Get a provolone. About three dollars and forty cents for this pack right here. The sausage. Yeah. You just boil it in water. We get two of them. Two. Okay. Yeah, we'll be in a room for another, uh, the apartment for yeah. another week or so. Yeah. I want to get some salami also, a good salami or something. Oh, there's a prosciutto. Yeah, I get this prosciutto here. This is always good. There you go. That prosciutto. Okay, I think we got enough, huh? What do you think? Oh, I get get a picante salami too. There you go. Get this one. Eggs. About two dollars and thirty cents for six. Yeah. Yep. Right here. One hundred percent. Okay. Buy two of these. Okay, so that's done. We went grocery shopping. We got lunch, dinner. I mean, we're not gonna have dinner. Yeah, but we got enough food to last us a few days if we want a sandwich or something like that. Yeah. And um, 53 euro. What is that, about 54, 55 USD? We'll show you what we got here in Italy in groceries for that. Okay, so let's see what we got for 53 euro and 55 cent. We got one accessory chicken. Big chicken. Yep. <clears throat> Slowly, slowly. It was yeah. five euro ten grand. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Still hot. We got a half a dozen of eggs. Egg. Two packs of like a, what I call a buckwurst, but it's a two packs of sausage. One pack of a picante, like a salami. What is that? That's a three, three euro forty. Hmm. One pack of prosciutto, and I forget what the price was on here, but anyway, it's all in with that 53 euro. One pack of provolone, same thing, the price on it, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. The most important thing, one white rice for gift. <laughs> <laughs> Three lemons. Little jar of honey. <laughs> Three packs of uh, gift noodles. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. Two liters of 100% orange juice. Yay. There you go. One big baguette. A uh, half a euro, nice and warm still. Nice, right? yeah. And then we bought two of these balsamic vinegar. Now this is really good vinegar. Yes, I try. No, vinegar. you didn't. You didn't try this. This no, is like a little a bit. Different thing. Yeah. In the so we bought this to take back with us to mm -hmm. to Thailand. Um, 
and it was like eight euro a bottle, I believe. So it was just these two alone was 16 euro yeah. out of all of the money. And that's it. So that's what you get for fifth, nearly 54 euro. Yeah. Not bad, really. Not bad, not bad. Okay, good, good, good. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kirky. And foreigner, Joe. Well, what are we doing today? Buongiorno. <laughs> what are we doing today? We are going to the base, military base, Aviano Air Base. Aviano is a U.S. and Italian air base. That's why it's called Air Base and not Air Force Base. So we're going there. This will be Gift's first time on a U.S. base. And um, I know she's excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to go see some people back to where I used to work and everything. We won't be able to show much on base because it is a, a military base. But before we go there, Chris is picking us up, our friend Chris. But before we go there, we've been coming to this art cafe for some coffee and pastries in the morning. Okay, so this is, as we step into the cafe itself, all of this is made fresh. I seen them making them over in the oven this morning. So you guys are open just the morning time or the afternoon? Yeah. And do you close any days during the week? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday you're closed, okay. Very nice. Well, you, again, thank you so much. You are very helpful. We went over to the um, exposition the other day. You were working there as well. And then you promised to bring that chocolate back today and you did, so thank you for that. Appreciate it. We're hungry, we're already eating. Mm -hmm. You did. Me? Okay. Gifts has the chocolate, I have the chocolate, but she has the, um, I don't know, is that poquito? And this is grande. I forget how you say small. But anyway, poquito may be Spanish. I don't know. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Waiting on a coffee and a cappuccino and everything. Perfect. Good mood. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. What you say? Awesome. The bay. Bono. Oh, yeah, just bono. I'll start out with an espresso and then a cappuccino and this hot chocolate is on the way. I usually don't put sugar in coffee, but in the espresso I put a little because it's very strong. And very small. Okay. Ding my heart. Oh, you <laughs> You said drink your heart. Okay. Mm. Perfecto. Gets happy. Her hot chocolate came. So this is the nice lady. You own a bakery here? No. You, you, I just work. You work yeah, here. Yeah. But we've been coming here. She makes gift uh, a hot chocolate. She ran out of hot chocolate. Bono, bono. Bono, bono, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, bono. and she said that, uh, don't worry, she's going to bring some. And sure enough, she brought some for oh, today. So we guys. appreciate I that. Appreciate you. We're going to put a link to this cafe in the description pin comment. If you're in Porto Nole, come see this nice thank lady. You. What was your I name? I'm for you guys. Yeah. Juicy. You. Yeah, thank you so much again. Thank you, guys. Thank I you so appreciate much. it. And I found another sister. You found another sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got to stay in touch. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> So the base is right over there, Gift, and that's what I used to look at every morning, those beautiful mountains. It'll take you about an hour to get up there to the snow part, an hour and a half. See all the grapes for the wine? You got Aviano Air Base right across the way over here. Like I said, we're not going to, uh, I don't turn my camera on, I'm um, going on base or even in base for that matter. May if I see some people, just a short 
video saying hello to them, but that's about it. <laughs> Appreciate you doing this again. Chris is going to hang out with us for the day. Absolutely. We're going to have a good time. I don't know about that. <laughs> you go there's the uh dolomites and there's the snow right on top it'll take to get to that snow part of that mountain probably an hour hour and a half to get up there yeah maybe an hour yeah uh, we won't be doing that unfortunately but it's okay we're coming back to europe and get to get some snow i guarantee it so someone was asking in the comment section why did we come to Italy now when it's cold? Well, that's the reason. We wanted to get out of the heat. Right now in Thailand, it's the middle of the summer. And um, this morning it was 34, I believe, right? 34 gift? Mm -hmm. And feels like 40. Further up north, it's already 40 and probably feels like 45. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Right now it's 10. <laughs> yeah, and here in uh, Puerto Nome, it's 10. So. That's the reason we wanted to come for it. We were chasing the cool, colder weather, so. All right, we have the passes to get on base for, for gift now, so we're going on base. And uh, yeah, gonna have a great day. Unfortunately, there's a there's a um, fire alarm, so the fire alarm push all the people out of the building. I remember these fire alarms. But lucky for us, because everyone's standing outside, so there's like 30 people, we had a reception. I told them we planned this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we didn't, but but uh, so what they do is they clear the building, and then after the build after the building is clear, then people will go back in. Someone probably just pushed the door open or something like that. Awesome.